จมดิฟสุดประเมินพอดแคสต์วันตอนเราบนจมูกนังเรียนพอดแคสต์รายการตีใบเอพิโซดตีใบบะยุ่งกระทาเป็นยุ่งใจเอพิโซดนี้คือกิ๊กกิ๊กมันแทนจมูกนังทางไหนบนก็ได้สลายแบบได้พิซซ่าอะไรกันทักวันไทยเดย์ทางนี้ยังมีกูสวามัยเพรียแบบได้กูกดมือกูนี่คือพิซซ่ามันแทนเดี๋ยวสามมือกูเชียกลาโก้ให้มันเนี่ยกูเชียอาร์ติสได้กดปีมุนกูเชียมอดไอ้ยุ่งเคยกันงี้ปุ๊กก็จราจรอะไรยังได้ชูก็ต้องไม่ขมายขัดไปอยู่แต่ไม่ลองบาจิมเดซูจิมเดซูบาจิมเดซูเคทบาบาพี่กระยืงให้นี่คือเทอรี่ให้นึงเคทบาปุ๊ก you understand what I'm saying right of course of course everything yeah yeah understand yeah like I said ในออกในบทสนทนาเอพิโซดที่ยังใหญ่เลี้ยยังเมื่อสัปดาห์ท้ายทอเลยปุ๊กเทอรี่กดโกนขมายแต่กดการอุปแรง yes ไอ้เคสคือกอดเนื้อกุกไลน์เนื้อไทยพองเนื้อเฟรชพองเป็นได้กอดมอปีแคนาดาบ่าจังเป็นได้เวลาสตาร์จะรักอาซีซอตอาซีซอตนั่งไงไรยูเลกยูเอเชียนไรออนดิเอ็นไซน์ซึ่งโอเค let's let's start with the lady first how long how long you been here Kate so my family moved here in uh, 2009 yeah Uh, my parents were working at an international school, so yeah, I came 2009 with my sister, and I finished high school here, and then I went to Canada for university in 2013, 14-ish. But I kept coming back because he was here, and it was so cold in Canada, and um, <laughs> yeah, so I moved back, and then like back and forth a little bit. But yeah, since 2009, yeah, back and forth, so like over 10 years. Mm. Wow, that's that's quite a long time. A very long time. Yeah. yeah. Mona, you, you you finished high school here. Yeah, yeah. That I didn't hear of. Like I I could not find that. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean, like it would be creepy to just to go dig down on people like uh, history. But I mean, I I, I always do research on guests yes, like yes. for you as well. Uh, Terry Pimon Lena Prang. Yeah. Yeah. Kem the kem Kena Prang and Lena. Kem Chapa Dam Leng Bal. Be kem Ayub Dap Muish. Dap Chenam, yeah. Yeah, like in a small uh, club in my city called uh, Only Subo. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so Kim Lane a club known called Bay Bon Chenam. You know, Kong Chum Ra Hnung. Kim Chapa Dam mean look around. Wow, I want to be professional. Oh. And then I um so I moved to another city close to my to mine, and then that's where I started like to show myself. Because we in the division we play, we play against like PSG, Lille, or club like this, you know. So it's easier for you to to show your your talent and self. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that area, there's a lot of uh, yeah. big clubs there, yeah. right? Many, many. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me check my sounds. Yeah, it's recording. Sorry. Yes, I know. I always worry about that. <laughs> You see, this is like I have to deal with all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like recording is like running the show and then checking the sound <laughs> because of my kids are busy today. <laughs> like I usually have people to help me. Yeah. Um, okay, let, uh, move on from there. When when you so you playing in France and then when you came here, so Kate was here since 2009. Yeah. And w- what about you? The pipon the pi. Oh, so you're three years later than three her. Three years later. Yeah. So she's been here longer than you. Yes, she's more Cambodian than you. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> but she don't eat prohok. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you. I don't blame. You. I don't blame you. But but like, do you like? Are you like strictly don't eat prohok? Like, I just it's never really around. Like I'm not cooking it at home. And, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it would be interesting to hear, right? Like like. W- Oh, like, uh, when is your first encounter with Pahok? Yeah, good, good topic, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is yeah. your first encounter? You know what? I don't think ever yeah, really. No. Like you don't know. Like do do you like ch- let's say if you go to a restaurant, yeah. you order a menu, and then do you ask the chef or the the, the staff there do do they put Pahok or not? Like do you ask that or in, in just, some in some dishes they put like they have you ever asked or you just didn't care? No, I just didn't care. Amok, amok, oh. prohok, amok. <laughs> okay, so I would say this. Yeah, amok, uh, amok. Uh, no, amok didn't have prohok. Okay, but um, there are other that put prohok. Yes, like mm. lamchu. Oh, so she had. Uh, mm. I think indirectly you actually have, yes, yes, have yes. tried yes. it. Yes, it's just like uh, some some chef they're really good at uh, eliminating the smell. Mm. Like uh, you you have prohok in there, but it doesn't smell. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes. that's that probably your. Well, encounter. I'll eat it that way. So much just keep, let's make it stay that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, uh, like some people would just say, "Oh, you should try." Like, force people to do it. You're like, you know, if you want, uh, like, say, like, like for you, for example. But you're different because you've been around here for so long. 
But I mean, if I have a, fr- a friend from abroad and I introduce them a, a food menu and then try to force him to eat it or her to eat it, it's kind of feel bad yeah, yeah, of in a way that right you should not. It, if they like it, just let it be. Yeah. If they don't like it, don't force them. Yeah. But I mean, eventually, I have friend before when he came, uh, when I first in uh, when I was in in high school. So I came back and he came here with me and um, he 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 never ate frog before. Mm. You try frog before? I have, yeah. Right, right. So, it's good, it's good. yeah. So he's American, you know. So he was like, "Oh, frog, you." <laughs> <laughs> so we were on the way back to uh, from Siem Reap to here. On the way, we stopped the bus and then I ordered some food. I forgot that he didn't eat frog, so I I ordered frog uh, fried ginger. Chak nye in kai. Yeah, right. Yeah. Unintentionally, without even planning, he ate it. You didn't tell him? No, I I, I didn't know. <laughs> I forgot. So he, he That's the it. best way to make try. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he came to me like, bro, what's that meat, man? So good. I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble, you know. <laughs> I just told him chicken, man. Yeah, it's like little chicken. <laughs> yeah, but then like uh, two, three days later, we kind of like got drunk and stuff. And I told him, bro, that was frog. You got mad? No, he didn't get mad. Oh. He's just like, dude, next time just don't tell me. <laughs> That's yeah. like, a, like, like I swear. Said, I, 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 I mean, I can, I'm okay with that. Like, yeah, yeah. Don't force anyone to do anything that that uh, that you want them to learn. Better not, yeah. Yeah, especially like you know, like for for local, right? They have friends or tourists whatsoever. Don't force them. Yeah, yeah. yeah Let yeah. them adapt by themselves, and then you know, one once they experience it, like like I think Kate definitely experienced Prahok without knowing. Yes, yeah. hundred for sure, yeah. for sure. Even in omelet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, yeah. you, you never try, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. I I like try to eat like clean food, like yeah. not so fried and stuff. Um, like yeah, so I don't eat like much vegetable like mostly food from the street. Oh, okay. I used to be so concerned about like yeah what I eat and. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's so fine. I don't really have much experience with like. No, but uh, because your your work also. Yes, yes, yes. Used yes, to yes. be a model. I mean, your diet is like so strict. <laughs> I mean, that's like you. Anybody can choose, I guess, what their diet is. True, true. But yeah, like as a teenager, I definitely was like aware of what I was eating, and yeah, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, a bit good. extreme to some point. But I feel like it's taught me. Like now, it's all about health, and before it was probably about not eating. But now it's like yeah, she was very skinny before. Yeah, but now I mm-hmm. like it made me. I researched a lot about like what food is good for your body and like wow. You know, all this and nowadays, you have more access to that. Yeah, the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also like, doesn't matter if you've done a lot of research, but if you you didn't take any actions. Yeah. I mean, like. Uh, For so yeah. But you have like uh, uh, projects going on, right? Like with fitness that I saw, mm-hmm. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Like, can can you share a little bit? Like, I mean, we can come back to Terry later. <laughs> let's let's the the lady women. first. Yeah, lady first because uh, I I I did get a chance to look through it. I mean, I saw the visual that you're doing. It's like a lot of uh, things to do with working out and then mm-hmm. staying fit. And yeah. I mean, it's kind of match with uh, your work experience yeah. in a way. But then at the same time, uh, what really like the driven force that led you to do it? Mm. Like, what was the inspiration? I would say it's like maybe it work. It matches my work, but also just like my personal journey. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, like I was always into nutrition and fitness as a teenager, and then. Um, After having kids, like I was just uh, I wanted to get back to feeling good and also looking good. <laughs> so yeah, the fitness products that I've brought here for Marefit are like what I use to get back on track. So as a mom, like. We have no energy, so I couldn't like go to the gym and run for hours, and I couldn't like lift heavy weights. But yeah. the products we have is like um, silicone weights, which is just light weights to put around your arms or your ankles, and it's more like yoga, Pilates, or you just go on a walk and you have extra weight. And uh, also the resistance bands for strength training. It's kind of like using your own body weight, so it's not like so intense. But if you want to build up and make it intense and build muscle, you can also with the products I chose. So, yeah, it's just sharing like my what I went through and what really helped me and what I wish I had at that time. And yeah, so that's 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 what it is. Yeah. Wow, um, I mean, hearing you saying about like uh, going back to your like like your your old look and then feeling good about yourself, it reminds me of my wife as well. Like yeah. after she had kids, I mean, like a lot of men who don't have uh, kids. Would not understand it. No, no. Like I mean, I mean, it, we we still don't understand like completely. But I mean, we experience uh, the process. Like we witness mm-hmm. the yes. the emotion 
mm. from from the woman who went through that because um, even my wife as well like when you ask me like I have one kids and she just say that's it that's enough <laughs> I mean like a lot of people were like why you should have more mm-hmm. I mean like yes. her health she has health problem mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, when we had uh, the the boy she almost like you know going through a tough time so I don't want to experience the feeling again I mean for her as well like <laughs> I have no right to force her to have another kids yeah it has choice right mm-hmm. I mean also she has to feel comfortable with her body mm-hmm. to carry another baby as well what you're saying is like Uh, it must be really tough, like you know. Of course, like the physical, like appearances, all of these things, it's it's contribute to your emotion. Yeah. Doesn't matter how yeah. much like you feel inside, but at the same time you're going out and all of these things, it's kind of like you know. I, I mean, of course, some people they they kind of like don't care about it, but some people they do. You know, it's yeah. it's it's their own way of life, right? And you bringing up the Mayfit uh, uh, projects where I saw. Uh, the, I mean, like the the visual. Honestly, if. Uh, If I didn't see your name, mm-hmm. like the brand under under your name, I would not think that it was local, man. I know. I thought I, I, I thought it was just like wait. They thought is like, it was the franchise or something. It is. I it looks like a franchise. Yeah. I mean, like, like branding wise, like how, like what inspired you to brand it that way? It looks mm. so like you know slick, like That's clean. A good yeah, question. Yeah, but I feel like it's like the whole vibe is like peace and tranquility and like. It's it's just like exercise, really, but it's all about mental health, also. Mm. So, like, yeah, the the visuals are, you know, we actually went to go wrong to shoot something. Like, uh, yes, thank you for the support. <laughs> um, yeah, I brought like the video and photography team there and um, the model, and we like shot at the beach, and it was so, so that was that was in Karong. Yeah, yeah, we actually went there. That was and, beautiful. Um, it was so nice. Yeah, it was a good little getaway. But also work, hard work. We we shot a lot. No, you, you nail it. It's so yeah. good. And then the first uh, campaign we did was at um, near Tonle Bati, you know, like the Tonle blue, Bati, yeah, the yeah, blue yeah. water there yeah. with the mountain. What is it? Chabab Mountain or something? Chabab, Num Chabab, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think they're doing construction there now. But yeah, we shot that like last July and it's just so beautiful. Like, mm. So when people come to the page, I want them to feel like, ah, you know, like, oh, I, I can exercise too. Like I want to feel like peace and just exhale and so that's what the brand is yeah it, do. it yeah, does looks people. really good yeah, yeah. I, i think also it's not, it's not also only about walking out or exercise it's all about like your mental you know yeah it's so yeah. much it's just wellness like yeah. emotional spiritual and physical and for me like what helped me because i've been through like mental health where he's seen it like i'm just you know you go in a dark place sometimes mm. and just to get out of that is like go to the gym or go on a walk yes. and be active and like just Once you get your body moving, even if it's just a walk, like especially here around the Boré or something, it's easy to look very peaceful. Yeah, to just do that, you feel so much better after you've listened it, to your body, take care of your body. This is yeah. not something you 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 hear or speak about it often, like the mental issue, like like you said, you know, the mother, you witness all that process, you know. Yeah. These things. We, I think we, also for it's a bit like I would say our fault, like uh, kind of being social media influencers a bit, or just the content we put out. It's like. We're sponsored by some family brands and, you know, the image is like happy family and it's so easy with kids and like, it's really not easy. And so, so in some it's of so my posts, hard. I try and, you know, talk about that. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm sure you, you know, you've been through it too. It's so hard. And uh, honestly, yeah, I, I mean, I could relate it to that so much. Yeah. I mean, like, I appreciate that you open up to talk about it because like, honestly, yeah, being, being on social media, like we talked earlier, right? Like, Some people live a double life. Mm-hmm. I mean, at some point we have to do that too because it's work. Yeah. Right? yeah. I yes, mean, yes. you cannot go onto a poster <laughs> shot and then like so sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah. brand want to work with you for that, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, that's okay. That's work. But I mean, of course, you need to have your own space where you can express your feeling and being comfortable with yourself. Yeah. Of course, like uh, you just uh, reminded me on uh, uh, something earlier when you talk about like you know. Uh, not feeling good and then you have to work out and all of these things and uh, I also like went through that phase where like need to find my own routine yes. mm-hmm. to calm myself down from I, I got like really crazy amount of anxiety attack last year yeah like when I was in the process of buying this house okay mm-hmm. I just paid it off like two months ago okay. <laughs> but I mean like the decision to buy it was thank you thank It's you it's always scary it was a risk like, always scary. a big risk like we just 
jump into I, I would say like just a pond without knowing if whether they're fish or not which is like trying to catch fish <laughs> i mean some somehow somewhat we managed to do it but it was just like random things that we could not even control you know i i, I can feel you on that it just uh you if you don't find something that can calm you down you're gonna be in trouble yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes and yeah. i'm glad that you did because uh of course like Terry's uh, around you definitely a big 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 help right mm-hmm. like uh, like for me as well I have my wife being like the only partner where I can share a lot of things with like mm-hmm. anything at all of course and yeah. and that's I mean that's one of the things that helps as well yeah. but of course the fitness and then when you talk about the inner uh, the inner peace mm-hmm. like how some people ask me you know I'm almost 40 right wow I'm, Yeah, I'm almost 40. Uh, I'm turning 38 in like two, three months. Okay. And people so ask me, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People was like, how? I'm like, yeah. yeah you, I, I found the way. Like, I just figured out. It is more like your 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 insights, like your feeling, your peace. Mm. You're not uh, if you're not like if you are happy more than uh, sad. It's just of like, course, of course. You, you take show. care of yourself. Yeah. On that you take side. care of yourself, right? You, you have must, time. You must. I really appreciate you share that because yeah. uh, uh, you guys were saying, "Oh, can I just check my can you put on court? Can I check my band? Can go." So I, I put that uh, your you know, your brand uh, page down. So you have Facebook page? Yeah, we have Facebook. Mostly then, IG is active. Instagram. Yeah, I saw IG is Facebook. more. Facebook. There's also website. Um, oh, you have website as well. Yeah. Okay. So what is the best way you say they're interested in your in your work? How like how can they reach you? Uh, I think Instagram. The best way. Fit dot official. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or Facebook too, but I think mostly Instagram is the most active. And I also teach group classes. Oh, so okay. true, true, true. Yeah. You can contact her. Yeah. For sure. How to use the products? Because actually, the products is like home fitness because. For moms, like normally this was designed for mothers, but I want it to be open for any women who want to start their fitness journey or something. Um, but yeah, it's home fitness products, so it's like small little bands, little weights um, that you can do at home. You know, if you don't have time to leave your kids or go to the gym, and um, yeah, we teach you how to use the products, and then you can start your fitness journey at home. Or when you're traveling, you bring it with you wherever you go. Yeah. That sounds so convenient. Yeah, it's so convenient. Yeah, it's so convenient. Especially for mother who yeah, it's you know, so always necessary. the kids on their feet and stuff, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then having that around is like a, a mobile gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. The it best, is, yeah. the yeah. best. Because some, for example, cannot afford to go to the gym or have a, something like this, you know. Yeah. So you just stay home and walk out. Yeah. I'm gonna break my rule, like because we're talking about uh, your 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 work, and uh, I think people will have a hard time imagining it. Mm-hmm. Like usually, I don't do B roll in the, in the podcast. When, when like while you were talking earlier, I would just put your page on it. Mm. That's like I broke my rule. <laughs> usually, I don't do it because like like the, a lot of context is just like you can imagine it. But I mean, your work is like very unique. Mm-hmm. And also, like Thank you're talking you. about Mafit and then the mobile gym, like people are like, what, <laughs> what? So like, Mafit ni aku ni dah kumpul setelah aku cek mood description man, pay kau ni mana yang kengkom. Pada si Mafit ni ada mood kau kau ni, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's uh, I broke the rule for you. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank I you. appreciate it because um, like uh, having people who process from like you know like your work before you were a model and then. Uh, and then you have family, and then uh, you know you, you like taking a break for a while, and then you find something else still related to what you love. Anyway, I mean I appreciate people who uh, strive to fight for their dream. Yeah, it's a good role model for me. At least I, like I appreciate that. Like you stay true to yourself. Yeah, some people would just change career and do something else. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I. <clears throat> it's not easy to do, but um, yeah, like obviously his dream is so big, and his career is the main one in the household. But like when I'm at home with my kids, I just feel like, I feel like I can do something else. Like there's something in me that I'm like, I have this vision for Merfit and like, I just need to do it. Or like, I have a vision to do something and like, I really want to act on it. Like if you don't do it now, then it's never going to feel like the right time. That's how I felt with this. That's why like I went so hard with the visuals and then the brand and we opened it in the shopping mall. And yeah, I'm like, if I don't do it now, then I'm probably never going to do it. So yeah. Do, do it now or, or never. Yeah. Yes. Right. Now or never. <laughs> <laughs> Always try. Even you fail, you fail or not. At yeah. least try and you can feel like for everything. You feel and if you success, then it's good. If you don't, then it's part of this, the, the, the way, you know. Yeah. Agree. Fail, do again, fail, do again. But it's just, uh, it's a lot of time and it, I'm beginning to learn it's a lot of money. So yeah. it's like yeah. we just tried it now and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. 
sounds good, right? Yeah. People, please go check it out. I, I would just say I want them to explore more. And uh, they can contact you through that uh, yeah. handle, right? Yeah, yeah me, me fit, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, yeah, now I'm going check my band. I feel yeah. like uh, in the past few years, like mental health has been such a big topic for mm -hmm. my youth. And yeah. Yeah, the community here. So it's really like related to that. I can just see like the wellness industry. More people are working out now, you know, like influencers before, they didn't used to post if they go to the gym or anything like that. And I feel like now, you know, there's more people doing that. They're showing like women can be fit. Women can go to the gym. It's not like a manly thing, you know, yes, which yes, I think yes, before yes. it was so it was perceived as that here maybe. And uh, yeah, just I want to be a part of like the progress in the wellness industry here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, mental health is, is like, you know, I, I, I would say people know it's a problem, but it just don't, they don't have the, the guts to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, yes, I mean, yes, yes. They, 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 they have, but it's yeah. the culture. Yes, the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was it was tough, like going around telling people you're not feeling good, you're not happy. I mean, like, mm -hmm. like even I mean, for us, for example, like our job is, of course, we have our own personal space, and we have a public space, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we know when we are in public space or personal space. But then there are certain things that that rule doesn't apply. <laughs> You have to op like you have to open yourself to both spaces. Like mm -hmm. say, hey, I'm not feeling good today, guys. Uh, if you meet me outside, I'm not smiling or I'm not mm -hmm. friendly enough. Please don't mind me, you know. Yes. Yeah. But that sometimes you just feel so pressure. You just don't want people to misjudge you. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. of your feeling, then you force yourself to act happy, yes. and then you're not junior, and yeah. then people will just say, hey, "This guy's fake." Yes, yes, yes. I mean, like, like there are always are consequences to any action, but uh, always. But right now, I really encourage people to talk about their feeling in a way that, like, you know, that that's like seek help at least, so that you know they can uh, feel a little bit better mm -hmm. yeah. rather than just being alone. Yes, and yes, it's yes, so true. good. I feel like once you talk about it, you can get over it and get through it and like get to the other side. Whereas if you never acknowledge that you're not feeling well, or you think like something's off, then you'll never be able to like see it as an issue. And get mm. through it. Yeah, yeah. You, if you let's just be under the table, just yeah. put it on the table. Yeah. Finish it off and yeah. take it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's true. It's, it's true. the best way to uh, to take care of it. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like me, for example, also in football, I have like so many struggles, you know. But I never, never put it on public or on social media. And He's also, the only I would one. say like I never realize or like like you never show it if you're struggling i don't try something. to show at home also as well because i have my kids and my wife at home she only know when i come home and i lose i don't <laughs> want to talk to anything mm -hmm. to anyone i just want to eat and do my stuff go sleep you yeah. know but uh other than that all my stress sometimes i i talk to her a little bit about this and that but i try to not show it at home also because i feel like uh they, they don't deserve that you know they, they need me happy at home and try to take care of everything and uh because like we are the men at home, you know, so I want to uh, be happy in front of my kids as well. So Yeah, yeah I mean, like uh, spread the good influence for yes, them. Yes, it's yes. true, it's true. I mean, like, uh, I mean, we have kids, we know this feeling like we don't like kids. They get the vibe. They get mm -hmm. straight, away, like, straight yeah, away. I mean, if you are negative or you are not feeling well and stuff, they just gonna. When parents are fighting, they know straight away. Ooh, also. <laughs> my boy, my boy would charge in like even if like. Even if me or my wife raised the voice just a little bit, yeah. he's just gonna come like, yeah. of course, hundred percent. Yeah, he just don't want that to happen. Like he yeah. wants us to be happy. Yeah. Yes, yes, which yes. is good. I mean, kids they want us to be happy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They absorb everything and uh, they see everything, they hear everything. So you have to be careful also about this. Yeah. yeah, of course. And also, whatever you're saying and what you show, they copy. <laughs> Just copy. I don't. I don't. I, I wish. I, I don't see. That, that's not copy. It's just clone. Oh. Like completely, like the same. Yeah. Like even some words. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not straight away, but later on, they just say that word to you. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Bim. Exactly. Yeah. And then you were like, eh. Oh, I said it. Yeah. You can't do anything. You're like, oh, you. But she that said, at yeah. Home. I heard you say last time, so I say. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Yeah. Oh, Only yeah. people with kids would know. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot so many times like it changes me too like the way I make video as well like before I was not really care about what I'm saying in the video like mm. some slang and some like you know uh, curse word and I would just say it and then my son watched my video mm. he watched the video and he like recite yeah, what I was saying I'm like ooh 
no, 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 no. I have to like watch my mouth. Yes. Yeah. Because I think also your audience now is, uh, let's say maybe a bit younger to like a big gap of age. So yeah, yeah, now we have a big gap, yeah. Mm. yeah. So they have to make sure like uh, they, they got a good influence. Now, I mean, not try to act at anything, but yeah, yeah, we yeah, just yeah. don't want to spread the bad influence yeah, on course, them, right? Like language wise, unless they know what it means, then they can yeah. say it. Yeah. But I mean, kids just kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So innocent. Yeah. I swear, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want love and attention. Just love and hug and kiss. Man, this podcast sounds like a like parents just talk about the kiss. <laughs> I, this it is, is all we do. Yeah. It is, it you know, in a, in a sort of way because you like when I hear when you, for example you hear Kate talking, like I can see you feel emotional because I think you have memories also, you know, about this. <laughs> yeah. And the same when I hear you also. So yeah, it's good to hear, you know, and like feel like oh, like we all pass this way and stuff, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, definitely. And like in terms of uh, where we are now, right? Like looking back, I mean, like for us, we know, oh, we came a long way. A long mean, way. For most people, they would just say, ah, yeah, they made it. Yeah. And then they just like. Of course. They uh, just see you here and like they think it's yeah. so easy and you're happy, you know? Yeah, of course. And uh, like, especially for you in sport, mm. you have to go through so much process. So much, so much. To be where you're at now and also like. Uh, I, I like I, I told you earlier. I, I went through your your background a little bit. Like, so your both parents are Khmer, yeah, right? And you were born from uh, Batambong. From Batambong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm also from Batambong. This everyone look like it sounds like they're from Batambong. No, I, okay, no offense to other. Uh, all the cool people are from Batambong. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. You, you, Khmer, Khmer. You Khmer. To, you been to Batambong? I don't think so. I don't think really? I've ever been. No. Ooh. You should now. Mm. You've been recently? Did I go? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, was it four or five months ago? Okay. It's, how, how it's so it much there? better now. It's so much cleaner. And then uh, the infrastructure is way, way, way better. And More stuff to do also? Yes. Okay. Uh, and also uh, now they're like, uh, they have night market. You can uh, get night market. And then the riverside, they clean it up. Nice. They got a new governor. Like, he's doing a really good job. Okay. Um. Which happened to be uh, uncle of my friends. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, she job. also listened to the. Uh, yeah, he did a great <laughs> job. And then also like they have festival like from time to time as well. Like, which which uh, I mean, no offense to the previous governor, of course, but it just like uh, they won. They won. I think they won like one of the best city awards something in Asia. I heard something in, about in, it. In really? Asia, yeah, well, yeah, Badenbong. I want to go because I want to ride that train. That open yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. Is that, only in Badenbong this one? I, I mean, it's a signature. Yeah. Mm. So, but uh, how long to, to go in Batamong now? Uh, um, I would say like five hours. Uh, that's that's the, the road, problem, you know. We want to. No, the road is there. almost finished now. Okay. It's so good, the highway. Mm. They're making a highway to go to Batamong? Yeah, right now we have a highway. It's like completely like open up. It's okay. almost like uh, it's going to be as good as going to Simri. Mm. Okay. And uh, also, like, um, how do you say? They cleaning up uh, certain areas for us to go, to, so we have more things to do. Mm-hmm. And like historic sites in Banbong, we have a couple where like you can you go see the bat, like the bat oh. cave, and then the sunset there at the nice. Mountain. Ah, the bat cave, yeah. Yeah, this is like the only place where you can enjoy it. They have like a, I mean, it's a tourist site, of course. But yes, yes, yes. But then there's COVID like COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, true, <laughs> true. Oh, it yes. Is. <laughs> now that's that's a good reminder, actually. <laughs> Because my family have very strict rule for that too. Yeah. That's why I live here. Because I work, I meet so many people. Oh, yeah. So they were like, oh, hey. I, I also like feel that I have, to, I have yeah, that responsible for that. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, also I take care of myself too. Like always checking every time. Like before I met you guys, I test myself too. Okay. I don't want to be the one who spread the COVID mm. to my guests. <laughs> I rather like, okay, the guests, if they come, they have it, it's fine. But if I have it, I spread it intentionally. But I, f- mm. I feel now it's finished, you know, so. Nice. It's nice still there. Still it just it just not uh, as scary as before. Not showing up like yeah. more. Yeah, I mean God. before it was. Oof. It's too much. It was crazy. Oh my God! People get depressed yeah. from that. But compared yeah. to other city uh, country, we did very 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 well. I so COVID started oh, when <laughs> we were in Malaysia oh. in uh, Ipo, like small town, and uh, when it was starting, I was just watching the news all the time, and I ordered like the full suit. <laughs> the suit and the she never the, the she mask, never <laughs> like the big, you know, for like chemicals mask. 
<laughs> and the gloves. Because we had a kid, so that was very. You young. know, you're being a good mom. I was freaking out because I was only when I, we were in Malaysia. I was only taking care of the baby. Of yeah, mom, yeah. And I was like going crazy with a child all day and like home alone. I had no friends, oh. no family. Like some days I would not talk to another adult because like he travels for football also so i'm literally just alone with iman and like on my phone reading the news and then i'm like okay order this suit and like you, you going did, crazy yeah, you're doing the yeah. opposite things that you should have been doing during <laughs> covid like just reading it's, the it's, news from from me you know it's i i don't realize maybe 100 percent, but it's sad to hear you know that she's just home alone with the kids and don't even talk to an adult it sounds like crazy you know uh, i i feel you man like my job right now as well like because i mean my my wife uh Like we don't we don't share how f- for a while now since COVID like because uh, my work like I mean I have to you meet you meet people many yeah. people and and then um, my son never had it and um, I mean but my wife did say that uh, she, she said to me she's like if I am the one who spread the COVID she would not forgive me and it's like traumatized me you know because oh. like because uh, she she thought that I was neglected of uh, like protecting myself and stuff I mean like I mean it's okay it's yes, her yes, perspective. Yes, yes. But then, like, I, I would just say, okay, fine. Then I would just stay in the studio and work because uh, I don't want to be the one who caused the problem. Mm. And course. yeah, and 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 then uh, understanding that, oh, uh, what what happened to her? Like she with the kid, like without me, and then um, but she with her parents. So and then her her brother, and mm. so she has her family with her as well. So and then I look at back, I'm like, mm, I'm I'm the one who's alone. <laughs> Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there's a one point of the family that you have to sacrifice that mm. in order to reach to a different level. There's always But sacrifice. It's for the kids. Always. Right? For the kids, right? Like, we're doing this for the kids. Like, we're saving up. We, we're building some things that when the kids grow up, they can go to school. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> they have a, 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 a proper childhood. They have toys to play. They have time that uh, they can spend with us as well. Sometimes that yeah. we have to get away from works. Of course. So it's it's all down to like balancing it's your time. So all about balance. Yeah, to yeah, balance. Like uh something always has to be a sacrifice, you know? Mm. Like if you can it's like work or relationship with your kids or I don't our, know. Our own like, relationship also. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romantic relationship, you know. Something is always going to be like Lower Over. or suffer a little bit. So like if we choose work and the kids, then we don't have time to ourselves. Yes, we don't. Or uh, if we choose you know ourselves and work then we don't have time to spend with the kids so it's like a triangle and you have to find how to yeah, yeah like sh- uh, jumping from balance, one to the other mm-hmm. yeah but, uh, but like you said like me for example last me as a footballer i always have to be in contact with people and stuff so i brought covid to my whole family and uh, she did give, like give birth like only like oh my few. god yeah it was like 10 days or two weeks yeah yeah so that was very bad moment you know yeah The baby got it too. Like we all got it. We all got it. We all had to stay home. My kids was, so the youngest one was uh, 10 days. And then Iman was like uh, two, two something or three, I think. Three and a half. Uh, two, three? No, two and a half. Two and a half. I don't know. But yeah. That was bad. That was bad. So, but that's, that's part of the, of the journey. You know, it's not, it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, that's the sacrifice you are willing to make. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the thing uh, is. I like the COVID was going around in the football teams at the time. Like yeah. it was like a thing. And then it's like, okay, you should stop going to training. Like just don't go to work. You know, if it's going, they know it's going around. They need to do like a little quarantine thing and you stay at home. But they, d- or they were like, oh, why don't you just camp at the football stadium and like stay there and then just, you know, just do football. And so you won't infect your family. I'm like, but we need you at home. So it was like, The I don't mind. So like you need to come hard. home, it's but hard. yeah, in the end we got it. But you know, you I don't know. You can't really blame someone. I, it's that. just how it is. That's all. It happens, right? I mean, like like I said, if you if you can protect it, if you can avoid it, then good. If you cannot, then yeah. what can you do? Uh, and as long as you like like unintentionally it happens, you know, mm-hmm. we're not like oh let's let's infect that person. Yes. Like no, no, it happens. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's a it's a pandemic. Back yeah, then. yeah, yeah. So I definitely used it though. I'm like, you brought COVID here, so you change the diaper or like something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I think I said that a few times. But she about always used that. Like for example, I'm going to London next uh, in two weeks, and she said, "You're going to London, so you have to do all the diaper or now." So Actually, I, say I don't say that. I tell my kid. Yeah. <laughs> I tell Iman. I'm like, okay, go go tell Papa. He's going to London soon, so he changed Lola's diaper. 
and <laughs> she'll go and tell him. Uh, but I, I have, in the in other hand, like, I cannot say anything because when I go away from family, I go for so long. Like, for example, in December, I was in national team. I was one, one month away. Yeah. So when I come home, I, I cannot say anything. I cannot fight back. I say, no, I don't want to do it. I have to do it because I, I left her alone. But it's kids. also like hard. I sometimes I want to be considerate and I want to understand like, okay, he's there for work. He's training every day. It's tough. But then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, like you're sleeping in a hotel bed all night. Someone's doing your laundry. Yeah. You got free food. You don't have to cook. So. Oh, there's a lot of things. Yeah. That, we, 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 I, I have a good life, you know, like I cannot complain. So <laughs> that's why when I go home, I have to do my, my duty also as well. Yeah, of all course. The things, yeah. Yeah. Because. Yeah. When I have the kids for, for example, one or two hours, just two of them alone, is so, it's, I feel it so hard. So imagine that she have it for the for days, you know, a month. No, I used to try and do that. And then like, but I got to a point where I'm like, I'm going to faint. I'm like, <laughs> no, but really like there's just, uh, we can't do it all. Yeah, you, know? you can't. Like we you have cannot. nannies now that help us. Thank God. Because yeah, uh, we don't have family here, so... I, yeah, definitely, like, <laughs> listening to you two talking, <laughs> I can I can hear as well, like, all the words my wife used to say to me as well. Like, like she just say, oh, I cannot do this. I need a break. Like, I'm just gonna... You, you, you must, you must. They're, yeah. they're not like a robot, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but like, honestly, uh, for your work as well, you're like, you travel a lot, which is kind of impossible yeah. for you to take a break from, yes, from work yes, yes. to come to see them. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky here because, like, I'm here. So my son, sometimes we just come to the door and then ring the bell and just like, daddy, I want you to come with me to Wat Phnom and then ride a scooter. Mm. So I, I, yeah. there's no way I would say no. Mm -hmm. He came and like, doesn't matter how much work I have. Yes. I'm just going to call my client and say, hey, hey, I need to spend time with my son. Yeah. So like that is, for me, I just know intrinsically I have to do it. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he called me and say, hey, can you go this with me? Like Eon and then find this friend there. Go. Yeah. So we at least like I prioritize them. Yes, yes. More yes, than yes, well. Yes, yes. But there has to be a limit because like when I was listening to my daughter, like let's go here, go here, go here, and I tried to like follow her pace, and then I was like, oh my god, I need to go home and get in my bed because like there's yeah, you need to know the when limit. you have to yeah, you can't listen to the the child all yeah, the time. Yeah, man, for you definitely because you spend lots of time with them and yeah. and <laughs> oh, good to be back. Yes, I need to go home and buy like. Like microphone, uh, like a recorder. <laughs> okay, so I think we we have uh, I don't know whatever. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah. We can go for like another half an hour and stuff. Uh, up to you guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What? Where were we? We're talking about kids, but let, let's move on. Yeah. From kids. <laughs> I think we talk a lot about kids and family. Yeah. This is more yeah. like a family podcast. It is. I think we, which is nice because like I never done a lot of things that related to family. Yeah, at all. It's just more about like create content creation, like professional, work. yeah, artists, and then yeah. working on the experience and stuff. This is like family experience, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. more than that is like you guys are like not even like you wasn't you weren't born here, but I mean you kind of embedded into the society for so long that you just being a part of it. Yeah. And then how you raise your kids with the local and also. You know the culture, the, the tradition, which is like very fresh and different. It was def definitely a challenge. I, I wish I wish my kids speak my better than me. Yeah, do I they? Want, I want. Do they speak my now? Now I try. Lola, Lola, I think she's gonna. Be, they learn so fast. Like kids can they learn, learn so fast, you yeah. know, language really fast. So. But so Iman, her first is like English, and we try slowly to put words in Khmer, in French, or so because. We can, but we don't. We don't even try I'm that much. I'm just not stressed about it right now. Like I want me, I want to them to speak fast now. Okay, <laughs> but I want them to talk to us also. Like I want to be able to communicate with them in English first, French, and then Khmer. Like I'm sure they'll be able to. I'm pretty sure, yeah. If we live here, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. English definitely already. Like, already, already settled. So. But I want them to speak Khmer. Khmer, Khmer, Khmer I, I think so. I mean, like, I they, when they go to school and stuff, they, they meet their friends and stuff. They're going to yeah. speak Khmer for sure. Because, for example, my mother come to visit me and they cannot even, like, communicate. It's so hard. Really? They cannot. They cannot. Because my mom doesn't speak English. No, Iman understands because she learns the words that your mom says. She says, like, poisson when they uh, fish. In, uh, your mom speaks French and, yes, and, and, and Khmer. Khmer. French mm. and Khmer. And uh, Iman, so when they meet, they, they struggle to speak. That's true. They should learn Khmer <laughs> yeah. for that, yeah. I want them to, to be able to talk to my mother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, they will. They will. Yes, yes, yes. 
I mean, it just need time. That's all. I mean, kids is very easy to learn new things. Very easy. Not very like easy. us. We just hard to bend. That's all. Yeah. I mean, if we, unless we really wanted to. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you want, you can for everything. <laughs> yeah. If you want, you can. True. You just True. have to give time and. Uh, that's it. Effort. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's go on with uh, your story. Okay. Yeah. In terms of like you know, um, I think uh, people uh, for like sport that you were in football uh your experience from playing abroad right like all your honest opinion about for like say advice for the current uh young generation right i mean we have many young generation that actually a really good potential to very, become very like a uh, big player uh, okay um would you advise them to go abroad and play like in terms of uh, gaining more experience like what what would your Uh, your word to them if you have a chance to tell them like what, what I think I think it's it's a must it's a must for them to go abroad and have this experience you know uh, because I know many are scared to go try and uh, to be alone maybe out of the family out of the comfort so you have to go try even for me even I speak English and I speak Khmer or anything to, to come here you know it was not easy and then when I went to Thailand as well it was not easy at all I think Thailand was my most difficult one And it was only six months, but it was so hard because I felt alone, you know. Kate was not, was not with me, so it was so difficult. And this, this struggle makes you even st stronger mentally, you know, because we think football is only about physical and running and technique, etc. But it's also a mental state. If you don't have this, you, you cannot success, actually. You cannot at all, I, I believe. You have to be so strong mentally because in football, it's not only looking like you're not going only be at the top, you know, like uh, playing all the time, etc. It's part of you have injury. Sometimes you don't play. You have other issues maybe outside of football. So you have to be prepared or uh, be strong enough to to, uh, to go up from, from those uh, like moments, you know. For example, yeah. when me, when I was injured, like you're, you're by yourself, you know, you think maybe, uh, will I be able to play football again? Will I be good enough to play football again? Or... Like, You you you're feeling like uh, when you see the other play and you you're injured like you feeling like uh, like like alone you know so it's it's hard to explain but in another way like uh, you you have to to be strong and fight those those difficult moments you know because for example I talk to my wife about these things but she don't understand so even this you know you have to be by yourself and alone like and try to what. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Because she don't know football and all these things that happens in your. In yeah, your he, head, you, you know? he, like I would say, masks it so well. Like I'm sure there's so much stuff going on, but sometimes he's just silent or like. Then I know, okay, something's off or he's stressed about something, but he doesn't always say it. And like he's so, I would say, like you're so strong, like mentally. Yeah, but yeah. Behind I, that is, is so much struggle, you know, yeah. even right now, even like in the last year or in the last few years, etc. I still have struggle, you know, I, I, I always have this, this thought in my head, like how long I'm going to play football, how long can I last, how, if I'm still good enough to play or stuff like this, you know. You know, you know, when you said that, that's really uh, one of the reasons why I got an anxiety attack, you know, mm -hmm. like when I start thinking about like how long can I do this and what if next day i lost all the con yes, yes, contract yes, yes, with yes. my brands mm -hmm. and i don't have any more incomes and people oh. stop watching or all the platform collapse i don't have a career i i, I can relate it to this it's it giving you it anxiety you know like mm -hmm. your heart just start beating without I reason swear. and just you to, cannot sleep just to yeah. have this to, just to have this thought you know like you like you you like poof, switch off like yeah oh, and oh. then people try to calm you down it doesn't help yeah. it just you just need space Yeah, and it has to go yeah. by itself. Yes, yes, yes. yes that's yes. that's what I went through before I bought this house. Before I, I, I mean, I reached to this point. I would say now I'm much, much happier. Like I learned how to suppress that and just acknowledge it. It's yeah. like it's fine. I mean, everyone have that problem. Mm -hmm. But everyone also like uh, go through the process of the dis difficulty differently. You know, for example, yeah. like, uh, she, like someone else will have uh, will go through it maybe more easier or something. So everyone is different. But at the end of the day, like. You can go. You can go through it. You have to know yourself. Try to uh, to be positive. So and then you can go through that one and maybe be stronger mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really good uh, that you talk about it because I I would say among all the the, the national team player right now that we have, 
you're one of the fewest that actually have a lot of experience abroad in terms of like the national team. I would yeah. say national team, right? Boris also playing a lot abroad, right? Uh, your friends, Boris. Boris, Boris, yeah, yes, Boris yes, also. Yes, 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 yes. And um, I honestly, like, uh, I would for personally as a fan of of uh, national team and also the local team here, I would say I would want to see like. The local player going abroad as well to gain experience. We don't ha- don't have to be long, no. right? It can be shorter. It can yes, be yes, yes. a year or two. It's you fun. can go and have a look at your like also uh, grow experience. How is to see how is the life, the culture. Yeah. Try to adapt, and also not only be here and only speak Khmer and stay in your comfort. You know, yeah. go there and try, and uh, maybe you will learn about yourself more. You know, that's yeah. good. Not only about football is also human. You know. That's the good things about it. So for me, like, I think all the players need to go and try. You're young or you're even older, you can try. Like for example, Boris went like abroad like at, at 29 years old. So there's no age. When you feel you're ready and you want to try, and just go. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. 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 So that's that's my, actually this is my wish. You know, I, I want to see more uh, Khmer players to go play abroad. You know. Because I feel there's many player, quality player actually can do it, and I feel because I went to play outside, so I know the quality, and uh, I, I feel they can actually play. So it's just they don't they don't have the the the, the guts to go yeah, it. The guts to go, yeah, to try and. The, the yeah, yeah, of, of course. Uh, that's that. I mean, like uh, your your advice and your, your opinion are related to this. Honestly, it just it's it, you have to hear it from someone who's been there. Yeah. You have to hear yourself, like express you. Like I would not ask somebody else who never been playing in another league and say, "Hey, how is it like?" You know, yeah, because yeah. you know this, you've been there. You you know how like all of these things you have to deal with. Of course, like you go abroad, you have to deal with food, <laughs> family, all of these things. But yes, I mean, yes. my people, you know, like they build strong. You know, they yes, yes they yes, grow yes. up without parents sometimes. I, for me, it's just there's no excuse. If you can and you want, there's no excuse. You can go try food. It's not it's an excuse for me. You know, mm. you can and eat everything. You can try to adapt to survive. You know, is at least you have food. You know, so eat something that <laughs> to help you become stronger and uh, physically. You know, so this is how is how I think. You know. Mm-hmm. But uh, f- and also failing is part of the the, the 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 journey, you know. For example, me if I I talk about my my journey in Thailand, I can say like it was part of uh, it's like I I didn't have a success much, you know. There, so this also make me stronger, you know. So for example, I could have after Thailand and say oh, I don't want to go outside anymore, but I tried again to go to Malaysia and then that was successful. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, that's that's uh, definitely a learning process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny because when he was in Thailand and it wasn't going well, we, our relationship wasn't going well. Was not, was not. Yeah. So this nobody know, nobody know actually about this. You know that's why, like we had like a little bit like break off. And you know what? Uh, actually, the first time I went to visit his family in France in like 2014 or 15. Uh, his mom brought us to I don't know like her sister's house or aunt or something like this, and she read um, our palm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and she told me she's like, "Oh, you guys like uh, if you're gonna do business together, if it's gonna be successful, that means your relationship like is uh, successful or something like that." Like, yeah. So if the business isn't going well, that means like your relationship is not gonna go well. Oh, so you so funny like that is kind of. So you have to like you. On good term, yes. And, and if we're good, yeah. If we're in love, then the business. Will yeah, be happily, and my together. career, well, like we go up, and that's I, it's, it's, true. it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's in Thailand, so like we were, like we had tr- like struggle, and I also had struggle like in my in my career and mentally, big big time. I was all alone there in my hotel room, and it was so hard, mm-hmm. so so hard. Even though I could speak English to some player, and the food was amazing. <laughs> Nothing to say. I love Thailand. I love Thailand, and. Uh, uh, I we, feel we like go there I, often. I I should have gone. Yeah, I could have gone with him, but I was like, I actually I just moved back from Canada to come here to live with him here, and then like I left a few months after that, yeah, he's like, oh, I, I'm gonna go to Grabby, but it was like he was actually I would say depressed like the months before leaving because there was an issue with like the club he was signed to here, yes, yes, yes. and they weren't gonna renew his contract and stuff like this, but like. I didn't really get it. Like, I didn't understand why he's so silent, why he's not like paying attention to me and stuff like that. <laughs> also, I think I was like 19, right? So, but, you, you, but so you can hear, you know, from her, her, 
her part, you know, like all of these things, all these struggles I had, you know, mm -hmm. like we don't talk about it. I never talk about it. Like I complain about this, you know, it's only I give to her this, all these feelings, like when I, uh, I struggled to get a new contract, when I, I was injured and all those things, you know, moving abroad. So this is very, very like uh, hard, it was very hard, it was very, very hard. I mean, I don't blame you for doing this too, because like sometimes, you know, it's just like you could not find better word to explain. Mm. And like, uh, rather just let time yes. heal yeah. itself yes, and yes, then yes, explain yeah. itself. But at the same time, fighting to find the right solution for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I, also like the experience that you have. Also, I mean, uh, like for me at this age, I think I've, I've been through a lot of stuff that some of them are just normal to me now. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not really new. I can just like, ah, oh, yeah, it's fine. I, yeah. I can deal with that, right? Yeah. I mean, of course, that's a part of learning. And then uh, like appreciate the fact that you keep going forward you don't go back like i mean at this like you, you're almost 30 now right you're I'm 30. 31 now yeah so at this age some people were just considering let's do business or do something to, else. to, to be honest most of the local player already are about to retire when they reach that age you know uh, that's what i'm saying yeah <laughs> so i i want to play as long as i can also be perform i perf i want to perform as, as my best you can play another 10 years no problem i i hope to play yeah. at least five years at least five years yeah at but like a top level you know yeah yeah and i just i don't want to be here and play and just cruise and chilling you know i just want i want to be at the top and try to be also on the national team all the time and win trophy with my club you know so i have to work hard every day i cannot lose uh like my motivation because in that age the less you train and you can get uh, like lazy easier also you know so you feel maybe like uh, i reach a certain um, Le level, or so I cannot do more or something like this. But I always want to improve myself, so also I can uh, maybe get more sponsor outside as well. Also, so yeah. it's part of the journey. We have also the same journey, you know. Like I, since I play football, I have sponsor that helped me also through my career a lot. So this is like helping my career. Like if I didn't have the sponsors, it, it would be difficult as well, you know. Yeah, I mean that's actually. Before we thought that it was just like passive income, you know, but then at one point it's just becoming your main, you know. Yes, yes. Okay, yes I yes. mean, salary is good, but then, you know, extra cash is the back, it's always of course, a bonus. Of course. And you have kids, you have family. I mean, not to say that we have to feed them, but it's just a responsibility as, it a, is, a, it is. as a parent. Yeah. You need to make sure your kid live a good life, of right? Course. Yeah. And this is really stressful. Mm -hmm. We like is. imagine your kid coming to you and asking for a toy and you cannot afford it. Yeah. I had that childhood, like, I never had toys to play. I never had things that I wish I would, could have, like, get access to. Yeah. So uh, when I see my kids, like, growing up, like, when he was born, I was at my lowest point. I had zero money. But then I say, no, 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 no. I don't want my kid to grow up like me, you know. Let, let's just fight it, you yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. I think same for you two as well. Like, they are, like, a extra energy. Extra. It for is. For you to go a little it is. further, right? Of course, our passion, our, uh, our dedication, our goal our plan is always there but i mean without them you would have less discipline or less yes discipline, discipline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it adds an extra discipline in your life and like you cannot lose yourself you know for example like you think like oh tonight i'm gonna go have a drink relax or go to club but the day after you cannot have energy for your kids this is i cannot you know yeah, yeah. that's why this now i have more discipline about this i, I don't want to do anything the day before so when i'm off i want to have full time for my kids yeah. and uh, enjoy you know yeah yeah Oh, of it's, course, it's I totally agree on that. It's it's this one of those things that you just know that you have to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no matter what, right? Well, <laughs> it's not. It's still not easy though. It's like sometimes when you've been working or you're with your kids all. Well, I guess it's different for me because like I spend more time with them already. Yeah, yeah. So when I want a break, I'm like, oh, I want a break, but. It'll be off of everything. Offline, yeah. But it, then, yeah, you owe it to your kids to spend, like, family time all together. So, some, like, because sometimes when he has free time, I'm like, okay, you take them and I'm going to chill. But, you know, <laughs> it's important that we do stuff all together with both of us there, I think. It's something yeah. that we are, I think, learning also and processing, yeah. Because, of course, you want to rest, but me, I want also to have time all together because... Is we don't have that much time together actually. I'm I'm so busy at work. Mm -hmm. I go to I go to training and my 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 day is actually finished. I go I leave at twelve. I come back at six. Some of the kids are already sleeping. So, you know, it's it's so much time that I have at work. Mm -hmm. I don't complain because it's it's part of my job, you know. But yeah, yeah. 
yeah, it's part of the the struggle as as a father also and a, as a footballer. But 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 the, the new thing is, uh, I mean, like normal is boring, you know. Like yeah, of course. In terms of like finding a different routine, you know, like mm-hmm. like it is interesting. Like when we share experience, I mean, at at the end of the day, we kind of live similar like dilemma of how we balance the time with mm-hmm. with each other mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like of course you two have a relationship to maintain you have a passion you have uh, a life dedication like you know a goal to achieve yeah. yeah but at the same time you have kids you need to raise yeah, 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 and yeah. spend time with and also make memories of course with each other when they grow up they remember what they did yeah. together and this is just like Of course, I mean to just sit here and talk. It's so se- simple. Like it's so easy, yes, right? Like yes, yes, so yes. much pressure. Once you're like practicing it, I'm just like, oh yeah. man, this is tough. Because it, it makes you think about like your own childhood, you know, and what memories you have of your parents or like how you grew up, and you're like, your childhood, you know, you only get once. Like every moment that's memorable, it, it can like impact your whole life after. De- you know, depending on how I guess mentally aware and like strong you are, but. Like certain things, like oh, if your mom didn't buy you a bicycle when you were a certain age, or like like something, it seems so small when your parents doing it, but when you're a child, it can be like be like, oh my god, my mom doesn't love me, or like <laughs> just like you know, and it can really affect the child their whole life. I don't know, but maybe that's not the best example. <laughs> Stuff like that, like your childhood is really important. You only get one. No, every I, moment I, is like they I remember agree. everything. I agree. Even me as well. I remember most of my childhood stuff as well, like things mm. that my parents bought for me and then what they did. I mean, that changed my life. I mean, like giving me a computer, like from the saving and stuff. That like back then in 1997, nobody have a computers. I had. Mm. They like they they just sacrificed that for me because they thought that I was really into it. Yeah. And it changed my life. Well, clearly, like yeah, yeah. it changed my life entirely. So. <laughs> and that was uh, that was things that I'm trying to do with my kids too. Mm. Like I wanted him to have something that he would remember for the rest of his life. That oh, I did this with my dad and stuff. Mm. You know, like trying to explore it. And but I, like the modern parents are different than the previous one. Like you know, very very different. <laughs> you know this too. I think the old school one. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know how. They can like raise so many child, you know, in the family. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, you know, his grandmother had ten kids. Yeah, maybe and all of the grandmothers like, before, but now nobody's one kid and mother are done. Yeah, or two. <laughs> no, I, I'm not like um, blaming you, but I'm, I'm just telling now uh, compared to before. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the family number definitely getting smaller, but it's also tougher to actually raise them too. There's so many outside, like external influence that you have to mm-hmm. monitoring, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even from their phone, the things they watch, or like yeah. friends, thing they see, like it's always gonna be like concerning for the parents to think about. Oh, sure. oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time, right? Stress level, the money, yeah. always the same, the same. Yeah. yeah, but then you need to kind of like, like you know, you can see like if someone is enjoying their life or not in terms of like having the right. Uh, path yes, yes. to to their career, like to their 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 goal is, yeah, like you can see it on the face, you know. Like so, for you uh, too, I, I can see like you're doing, you're doing things that you love. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Which means like you can smile like happily yeah. without faking it. <laughs> like I can tell people. You, you, you can see someone happy, I believe. Yeah, you can of course, of course, it's glowing. Color. You know, the glow is around them. Like yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yeah it is, know? it is. Like it's spreading, you know, your positivity and. Uh, but but that that's also like for you in sport, like. Does your emotion uh, contribute to your your performance on the field? Mm. Like, I think I think it does. Uh, if I'm happy home, it it helps to make me like perform better and be more happy on the pitch. If, for example, I have problems at home and I go on the pitch, I'm like already a little bit down, you know. So it doesn't help. I I I need I need the support actually. I need the support from uh, from Kate from from my kids. I need them to be happy around me and stuff. So it helped me a lot. I believe. Do they go see like Do you go see him often? Uh, yeah. Well, before. Hello. Before <laughs> kids, yes, I used to go all the time, um, and then after kids, uh, it's kind of hard. Right? I brought Iman sometimes to watch the games, but it's like, oh my god, it's not easy. You know, they don't. <laughs> she know. doesn't want to. And then she sees him playing on the pitch, and she's like, "Daddy, daddy!" And she gets so upset because he's not coming to hug her. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" Like, oh. let's go take a walk. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's hot. Night. Also, it's hot. You're sitting Sometimes there. Sometimes it's too late at night. Also, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I brought her a few times. Yeah, Lola, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Still, it's too young. Yeah, yeah still yeah. little. Yeah. yeah, but I think she, like also she want to spend that time maybe not just to sit for ninety like ninety minutes. Yeah, so I understand. You know, she can be maybe home do something better to relax for herself. So now it doesn't. I don't mind. It's fine, you know, as long she can take care of herself and the kids. I, this makes me more happy than having her here and s- s- suffer on the, on the stand, you know? Yeah. Or after yeah. the game, I'm not happy because yeah. like Iman was difficult or yeah, something yeah. like oh, that. Oh, yeah. that, that's like extra pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just want everything so everyone has is happy and can have like some good time, you know? It's not just, okay, come to watch me and then that's... Yeah, that, that's quite interesting but to hear. It, it's so it's hard to find the balance because I'm like, oh, I'd rather just be on my sofa with my kids at home. But then I'm like, oh shit, like, oh sorry. It's okay. <laughs> my it's husband right. is asking me to like go and support him and watch his football game, and I'm like, oh my god, if I don't go, like our relationship will suffer, or like, I like it's so hard. And then I'm like, I'm so tired, but I gotta go, and like. So I I have to sacrifice sometimes. I'm like, I'm so tired. I don't want to go, but let me go. Or sometimes I'm like, babe, I'm going to miss this one. But now I I just try to bring her for the big games, you know, like uh, when it's like important game for like maybe to win the champion or final or something. I say, you must come. (laughs) (laughs) You must come. Like for the final last season of the Hunsen Cup, she must come. And she she was here. I was there. You was there? I was there. Uh, I was there. I'm a great fan. (laughs) 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Man, it was... I would Crazy say one game, of the right? best game I watch here so far. Like yeah. in term of like emotion, the emotion, and then the turn over. And I mean, of course, it, it's what it happens. But it's just like experiencing it, you know. It was so like good as a, as a fan. It's yeah. so good. I, I don't know how you felt, but like pff, as a pl- me as a player, I think I, I feel less stressed than, than the fan. I think because me in my head, I knew we're gonna come back and then win. But you as a fan, like you were like so stressful. It's like ninety minutes, and then you're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It was just like. 10 seconds to end and then yes. they could have won it and then change. Yeah. This happened to me actually uh, in Malaysia. So that was... Oh uh, my uh, God. We were actually winning 2-0 in the same as Banquet, same as Banquet. And then... And then I lose, but I, we went to extra time and losing penalty. That's even harder though. The penalty lost. Oh, well, it's so hard. No, because actually me, it was hard because in 90 minutes, we were, we were 2-1. They come back to 2-2. Or something like it and was then, so long. Yeah, and then we went to extra time. Extra time we went three two in the one hundred twenty one. Maybe few seconds. The ball out and then finish. They cross and then on goal and then we go to penalty and then we lost. Ouch. <laughs> and her father was there. Was a was a crazy. Oh game. Yeah. man. Yeah. Was a crazy. Game. That that's like that. That's what I'm saying. You know, your emotion helps or not? Like in, in the field or off the field because you know, like people go watch, say, a football match, for example. They would just care about the result. Yeah, mm. and they would care about how you perform. They, they they don't know. They have no clue what you went through. They don't. They don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they they, I mean, uh, they are, of course they can say they don't have to know. They don't have to care. Yes. Of course, it's just a part of your job to do it. But, uh, it's you know we're humans. We are not robot. We are not like uh, video games. Yes, yes, yes. Where you have to like you know uh, just be controlled by someone else. Well, you have to perform as someone like. Someone else as well, like you yeah. know, like everybody else as well on the field and off the field. So all of this like extra, you know. Like uh, for example, me before the final, the day before I was so sick. I stayed in the bed the whole day. I didn't train. I ate on the, I think only one meal. And then I went to the game the day you after. Did the IV? Yeah, I did the IV the whole day. I was sick. I was yeah. sick. I ate some, don't know that. I ate something wrong. But they don't, they don't need to know. And no one will know because, but it's something that, yeah, um, funny to say, you know, like uh, you have to go and go do your job. You yeah. have to work, and uh, that's it. Mm. Okay, that's nice. All right. Um, <laughs> I mean, like you know, it's really good to hear like your side of the story from both of you. Honestly, like Kate's been here a lot, a long time. Like I said in the earlier uh, uh, of the podcast, and also Terry as well. I mean, like I want to know. Like, what is your most favorite things? I mean, it would be like a general question, but like, what what make you love Cambodia? Like, in mm-hmm. terms of uh, food, people, or like, what would be your good memory of Cambodia if you ever like move up abroad or whatever? Mm. Like? Do you plan to move abroad? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just you know asking what? you. The thing that makes me want to move abroad is like, just well, I guess this is maybe everywhere, but just pollution. I just feel like. Mm. <sighs> 
just not so fresh here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, of course, yeah. because you're in the city. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, good moments. Um, you go first. <laughs> Yeah, you actually grew up here, so like you almost yeah, live so all your life like here. Yeah, so it's like home. That, that's what it is. It's your home. You've been here for a long time. Yeah. yeah, like I came when I was 14. And mm. actually when I came, I was not happy about it at all. So that's kind of why like I just did, haven't, I would say learned Khmer. Okay, it's not an excuse now. It's been 10 years. But when I moved here, I was like a teenager, 14 years old. I had to leave all my friends behind who were like my family when we were living in Tanzania. And my dad, you know, was like, okay, we're all leaving. We're going to move to Cambodia. I got a new job there. And like me and my sister were just like, like I would say heartbroken. You know, you have to leave the friends that you think you're going to finish your school years with. Right. So when we came here, I was like, oh, and also it's next to Thailand. And we used to live in Thailand when I was younger. So I was like, why don't we just go back to Thailand where we, we know the language, the food, and, and we have memories there. And so I was like super upset that we were here. And I just was angry, like a, you know, typical teenager. teenager. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was like, I have like a love-hate relationship with Cambodia in the beginning. But now, obviously, it's brought me the best things in life. Yeah. Like the best the things best. in life. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids. Um, but yeah, so it's like, uh, it's just been such a strange journey. But, but you're here. It's like but we're here and like, modern adventure, it's, you know? it's home. That's what I can say. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the word home is big. It's big. It's, it's big. It's big. It's like a lot, a lot of the cover. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, that's that, that type of word, like, you could not use it in like a daily life or normal like occasion like you mm-hmm. know you already had to feel it yes. yeah i just feel like like you know comfortable and like warm like, th- like physically you know like for example when we were in yeah. malaysia she was not happy she don't she don't like to live in malaysia she, uh. she, she, she said i want to go back to cambodia i prefer there etc yeah. because i have my friends i have my connection mm. i know people I, I, brown cafe i want yeah. like, <laughs> to like little things okay i know where to go what to do etc but in malaysia she was just home yeah, yeah. Just home and uh, I was also afraid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, it was that time. It was a tough time, right? Yeah. It was COVID as well? Uh, no, but what? just like, uh, I would say it's a conservative country. Just yeah, Malaysia is a little, yeah, more, more regulation. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they do have like a certain rule that you have to follow, <laughs> which is kind of hard. big city, like compared to here, there was like highways and like just, go, it was just... Yeah. In KL, right? You, you Actually, no, we weren't even in KL. We were in Terengganu. Like oh, Terengganu, small. okay. Near the island. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Near the island, right? Small town. So that's where uh, our first baby born. Yeah. Ooh, in yeah. Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But it was good, the birthing. Like, yeah, everything. amazing. The care was amazing. good. Yeah, the, the facility is, yeah. It was so They're good. much more developed than here. But for our, for our second one also, we, she born here and everything was good. Yeah, I mean, now we have, you just need money. All. Yeah. It, it, it was just the... Uh, the way they, the women were like taking care of me after birth, like teaching me about breastfeeding and just coming in and like so like like motherly. The nurses were so good, which I think that was kind of missing here. Yeah, Maybe because yeah. they know it was our second child, but oh. the way like I'm so glad sh- the first one was born. What, what the way it happened was really good. Yeah. So you were well prepared for the second one. You, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because there they really take care of you. Like they, they, they thought like about you. You need some rest, so we take the I baby. I think because the whole culture is like you know women with the children, and so that's what they know how to teach you about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Women are taking care of the kids, so yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm. What about you, Terry? Poor. Oh. He loved you, it you, there. <laughs> you you have like 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 for here, for example. Uh, for here, uh, me, I can. I always say this as a joke, you know. But Cambodia changed my life. In, but the, the reality is, I was making joke with my father before. I remember we were in the car, and he said, "Yeah, you want to go play football in Cambodia?" I think I was like 13 or 14 years old. But I was at that age where I was growing up as a footballer in France. You know, I was in a football school. I was playing for a national team of France, and I was never are we gonna go to Cambodia? Why? And now it's changed my life. It changed my life for the best in every everything. You know, I'm I have I met Kate. I have a family. I have. A, I would say a great career. I'm happy with my career, with what I did, you know, so it very changed my career. I don't know what I, w- I will have done if I was staying in France because mm-hmm. I was struggling, you know. Uh, before I came to Cambodia, I was working. 
I had the difficulty um, to 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 uh, to reach the professional level. So I was like uh, working part time and training in also in the in the night. So that was very hard for me. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try and go to Cambodia and I want to live as a professional football player. And uh, since then, I don't regret at all. Uh, for me, it's just magic the journey I have here with everything I I have done and more coming also. So. Yeah. I'm just so happy outside and on the pitch with the people I met and uh, everything for sh- to be honest I and yeah I love it no I, I mean yeah well I was just right like so into the story yeah <laughs> imagining everything is like with your dad talking about yeah. like yeah, yeah I mean that that is a part of life isn't it like sometimes you don't need to have clear-cut goals or direction where you want to go but you just need your heart Kind yeah. of telling you where you want it, but to of be. course, if I could be professional in France, I will have st- maybe stay in France and have a, like a, a bigger, like a, a big career or something. But yeah. I failed in France, and uh, I tried. I did. I went to many trials in professional club, you know, and uh, I, I failed many times, almost like maybe ten times, you know. So, and uh, but because of that, I I still didn't give up. I wanted to be professional. This this was the goal in my head. I knew I wanted to be a professional, so. This opportunity with Cambodia came, and uh, like, I was very happy in the release. You know, even I came here, I I knew no one. I came only with Boris and Danny, so I'm very grateful to all the clubs, all the people that I met that helped me during my career. Even when I, I was like down, even when I was injured or something, they always support me. So uh, yeah, here was people are uh, actually like like I can say like saved my life and my career. You know. Yeah, I mean, you came in the right time because, like, when we need like people like you came in and you know contribute to the local, you know, like the mindset also, mm-hmm. like the experience, like as I, I told Nick as well, like it's really amazing to see people who sacrifice their life abroad and coming back here and just live with us, you know. Me, I I don't feel like I come here to sacrifice and I come here as a hero to her, but I just come here to to do to develop myself as a football player, to be a professional player, you know, and to to perform and help my team to win, you know. I didn't had any. I never had this idea of like coming here and like try to mm. to uh, be someone and show off to the yeah. local. You know, I never thought like that. You know? No, no. I mean, I'm saying this on behalf of you. I mean, of course, this is right. Like the the, the mindset you have is completely like fair and square. For for me, what I'm saying is just like because I've been abroad. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a Cambodian who went to study abroad and was offered a chance to live abroad as well. Mm-hmm. I know, like life out there can be much, much easier than here. Yes, 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 yes. I have the money; I can go order anything. But here, like sometimes you have the money, you cannot even order things. <laughs> Amazon doesn't exist. <laughs> eBay doesn't exist. When I was in the US, everything you just in a click easy, of the button, right? Easy, easy life. So that's why I'm saying the sacrifice that you made. Like you sacrifice an easy life to come here and struggling with the weather, the mm-hmm. food. I mean, all the new experience and then the exploration of your journey, the adventure that you 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 took back then until now, it contributed, right? Yes, yes, yes. And also the experience you brought from abroad, as it like you know, I mean, I, I'm just saying this from a third person perspective. Say if I watch uh, in a team like Team A or Team B, right? Or you from France, right? The the teammate have pressure to to perform, course, you know. They have like, hey, yo, this guy got come and perform, you know. Hundred percent, hundred percent. It is good for the team. It's good for the industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And look now, we have so many people from abroad, mm-hmm. and we uh, improve so much. Like, Cambodia used to be like a team where people want to meet, like they just want to meet Cambodia. Now yes. we actually have rest, like they, they, we we make some threat, right? F- football grow a lot uh, since like ten years now, and uh, since I arrived in Cambodia, that was. It went very fast, actually, and it's. I'm very happy how how the football went. You know, you have many clubs building their own stadium. Yeah, they have their own facilities, and that's why it make also Cambodia football uh, player, the young generation, also become a better footballer. So, I think Cambodia is going on the good way, and uh, they can reach like the the top of uh, Asian football here, yeah. and yeah. later Asia, of course. So, I hope to be part of it later, maybe on and or outside the pitch or. Yeah, that was this is. Oh, uh, I, I can I can tell where this is going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you you have to ask her too, <laughs> <laughs> because your job is like away from family a lot. But I mean, coaching staff will probably easier. Yeah, yeah. Not like player because player you have to commit it a lot. But coaching staff mm-hmm. you can Physically. take time off. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's you probably, have less pressure maybe on your on your 
on your on your life. On your own fitness. Yeah, on yeah, your own fitness. Yeah. <laughs> but I stay, want to stay fit. Yeah. Stay fit, man. <laughs> yeah. Stay fit. Yeah, but it's to come back on the sacrifice part, me, I feel like I I did the big sacrifice to come here when I. I had to adapt to the lifestyle of Cambodia, for example, when I, I remember we were living in the Khmer house, in Khmer Tier Levin, you know, we were like I three. was just picturing that. I was like, the way you describe yeah. it, it's like, oh, I came here and then everything was boom, <clears throat> great. And I'm like, the house? But it was, you actually it was not here. because, <laughs> uh, but uh, this moment, I didn't like feel like, oh my God, it's so hard. But uh, I go with the floor, you know, I was my friend, we were sleeping in the, in the, on a mattress, in on the, the mattress on the floor, we were three, four players living on the floor in the same room, eating cup noodles. <laughs> like we have like a, a Khmer chef downstairs making food for us, like a family. We come downstairs, she make the food, and uh, that was amazing for me. You know, that was fun. Even if you you say to someone else, maybe in France, hey, come, you, you're gonna live like this, you're gonna have this amount of money. Will you able to come? I think no, not much will, will say yes. You know, so yeah. me, I'm very proud about it. I'm very proud about this because. I had my friends, Boris, Danny, and uh, the local player, we go through this moment together, you know, so this made us stronger, you know, as a, as a family, as a unit, as a teammate. So this is like moment I, I very cherish in, uh, in my career. Yeah, man, that's that's what I said. The sacrifice, the good life that you you did is yeah. amazing because like not a lot of people have the, the balls to do it. Mm. They of would course, like think a lot and then they would just ask a lot and take a lot of time to do it and then until it's too late and then... Yeah. I started from actually zero in Cambodia, and now we, I'm that I'm, for example, here, you know. But people don't don't know where I started, you know. So, mm-hmm. and if the new player, the new player from abroad, come, they are like already like coming at a certain level of of good condition of life, you know, yeah. And yeah. good amount of salary already, for example. So, it's it's different, you know. So I'm yeah. I'm proud because we came together on this journey. I, I met her actually since 2013, mm-hmm. so she know me from zero zero actually, you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's the woman that would yeah. uh, accept you for who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You same with my wife. I know her way back. We said I was broke. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were broke. We were broke. You can be, be broke, but you're still good looking. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm so thankful, you know, because she was here for me all since <coughs> even when I was struggling. Sometimes I, mm. she was on like she was. Lucky she had a job, me, I was earning a little bit, so she could help me and stuff mm. like this, you know. So yeah, like we were helping each other all the time. So. That's the amazing journey we had together, mm-hmm. you know. It's not and only it lo- not only look good from And now two kids. And now two yeah. kids. <laughs> Long maybe way, one, huh? Maybe one more. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can talk later at home. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we're just joking about it, but if she don't want to I like, like I said, the woman has to choose. <laughs> She's she the has, big she has all the decision to make. She's yes. the big it's boss. It's not even that. Like I would love to have like a huge family together, but it's like realistically it's just not easy. It's not possible. I think like after having one kid was it was getting better and I was like, oh wow, I finally have some time to myself. And then turns out I was already three months pregnant. Like I, we didn't even know for the second one. Oh. So so it was just like it feels like one after the other and then the second one came and I was like like it's just And also if you have I think if you wanna have like more kids, you want to have them to the same uh, close age, you know. You don't yeah, you're sort of the age gap. Just, the yeah. age gap's not too big, and then they can play with each other, right? Yeah, but it's like uh, it, it's hard. Like I, I didn't sleep, you know, for the past three, four years. She also like she don't mention, but she also have like health problem, you know, and mental issue. Like you said, like this is the thing you, you never talk in the life, you know. So that's why you to tell me that you had like mental issue before. Exactly. Yeah. This is something Anxiety like attack. Yeah. yeah, this should make the people also aware of this. Like, you <laughs> don't be afraid to talk about this, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I, I mean, I, I open it about it. It's just like, did you like? I mean, of course, like Kate noticed. Like sometimes you you know you're aware of uh, which space you're in, like which space that you are more comfortable to talk to, and also like the people who listen are they willing to listen to you or not. Mm. And like there's no point talking to the people who does not listen to you. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't acknowledge how you feel, right? So like like with you guys, I open up to it because we've been through this. We know. We know. It's a part of life. I mean, it's a part of the process of going places. But and then we learn how to deal with it. And then yeah. we need help. We got help, right? And then we seek help as well sometimes. Mm-hmm. So that's just how life is. I mean, like I said, I mean, Dong Wall is boring. Like. Life, <laughs> la- life is not easy. Life is not easy. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And I mean, to have you guys like sharing your part of the story. I mean, definitely for people who listen to the the podcast. Even I hope women listen. I hope there's some mothers there are, out there. That, they are. Know. They are. They are. They are. I I personally get a lot of uh, 
a lot of uh, women they send me like a direct message acknowledge how much they have learned from it mm-hmm. i really appreciate them because yeah. like i never know how much uh, uh, like this podcast like any podcast yes, means yeah. to them until mm-hmm. they told me like yeah. really thanks to them for for doing this because it's like for me it's it's like pure energy you know yeah when like, something resonates with you like when you hear it from someone else and you're like oh my god someone else is going through that too exactly yeah, yeah. yeah it just makes you feel even though it's maybe not a good situation but it makes you feel better about you know yourself like you're not alone and because sometimes you just feel like this happening to you only happened to you yeah yeah but it happened to exactly. many people you know you're not alone mm-hmm. yes yeah you're not alone and then like like you asked me earlier like uh, was it my first time doing podcast in english with nick last mm-hmm. time it was and i i was so nervous man i was just yeah. like oh how i'm gonna drive it and then how i'm gonna and then like uh it just clicked to me and just like hey just don't worry just whatever i'll just go with yeah i mean it's not like you're not being paid to do this you're not being told to do this you want to do this just do it yes, yes yes and it turned out to be okay i mean good and in in a way that indirectly inspired uh, some kid who wants to learn english mm. like he he sent me message and say oh thank you Pooh, because uh my english is okay but i i never thought that i could have uh, should should improve more yeah, yeah, yeah. to be able to speak like that of course of course yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes that that happens, right? Like for you as well, for for your your work uh, with the fitness, with all of that. So, you know, you just doing this like visual things. When I saw you do all the uh, activities, some people they would just look at it and then you know like, oh, I never thought this could be a possibility. Just having this, I don't need to go to the gym. You know, like going to places and bring it along with me, and then have like 15 minute, 30 minute, whatever spare time, and just mm-hmm. work out a little bit and feel good about myself as well yeah. for, for theory too like yeah. suppress the feeling from work and then yes, at yes, home yes, just yes, 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 yes. make sure it doesn't affect your family that's a really good advice yeah. a lot of people would not share that kind of stuff though it's just like so personal yeah yeah but it's, it's feel good also to share it you know so it feels I, so good you know i was we were just saying when we took a break there like yeah you know, if we didn't have the chance to come here and speak, like no one is asking us about <laughs> what we've been through, and like, You're like but yeah. it feels good to yeah to share your story. It's kind of like a a, a, a therapy. Session. It a is therapy, like therapy you know? being able to talk. That's about that's it. the point. It's yeah. it's it's for us and it's for the audience. Yeah, and it's also especially the audience. Yeah. yeah, and but you know one thing though, like I guarantee you, like maybe in the next three or four years or five years, once you like just need sometimes you have a chance to listen to yourself talking mm. oh. it will f- it make will make you feel so good because oh, i'm sure. pretty sure you're gonna improve you're gonna go places yeah, and then exactly. and you were like oh that's where i was yeah right and 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 even for me too I, I mean i did i met so many people and like they they taught me something all the time mm-hmm. like like for you for example like first i thought only like my wife she's cambodian so I thought, oh, is it all the Cambodian women are like that and stuff? Like, you know, I'm so Americanized. Like, I'm so, like, independent. Like, <laughs> if I say, hey, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Mm. But then, like, so sometimes you need to just say, hey, okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to adjust. Then I cannot be too independent, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that's my problem. How long you guys been together? Uh, together for, I think, like, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, Seven almost years? 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah t- in 2012. Wow. And uh, officially in 2013, she never say, ah, we have a <laughs> <The yeah. same. laughs> We don't have a date. Yeah. yeah, we didn't have a date. Like our date was just like going to like Royal Palace and walking around together and didn't even like <laughs> no flirting, just yeah, purely yeah, just yeah. conversations. So but I mean, I know this, like when I was in the US, uh, I mean, I'm, I, you know, like American is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wise, yeah, yeah. you know a lot of things. <laughs> but this is just like different, you know. <laughs> no, a lot of things was like I, I, I was friend. different. Yeah, I went abroad for for schol- I was on scholarship, mm. but uh, my dedication when I was abroad is like to experience the life there, not just to go for school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just throw myself out there in American society. I'm just like be American, and if I was, I did what I did. But my God. <laughs> 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 it will be a good story to share with my son when he grows up. It's just, just like that. I just leave it there. <laughs> you know this kid. Do I? I mean, you know it as like, how wild is it out there? Like, you know it this is, too. It is. Yeah, I mean, me, me, actually, I don't know much. Oh. I, I don't though, but you do maybe in France. But I don't know because me, I, I, I live in a football school. So oh, we, okay. like you you wake up, you go to school. In the school is only three, four people in the same the same room. Uh, and then you go to lunch and then you go to training so I always see the same people every 
every day. So and I never go to the preview school. Like yeah. before, only before, like when I was... For uh, me, when I went to Canada for university, uh, we were in a long distance... Yes, long distance, yeah. Relationship-ish. <laughs> and ish, so ish. I was not going anywhere, doing anything. Oh, you just in school. Yeah. But I was literally, yeah, like we had a house for the students to live in and I met one of my best friends there and like he was gay and like, I don't know, we, yeah, I was not... She was just mostly in the room, in yeah, the scene. walking, oh, I drinking. <laughs> drinking by myself. <laughs> I I was everywhere. I I mean, I went wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean like, yeah. because I mean I I never got a chance to experience like. Yeah, some like, people have to get it. When I left Cambodia, and I was so innocent. I was just like, mm. doesn't know anything. Yeah. You know, I went there. I'm just I DJ. I do all of these things. I'm but like, it's oh. good. You just try, try, try to uh, know yourself. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I it, it's yeah. definitely is the process of yeah discovering who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it makes sense because, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, the more I talk, my wife gonna ask me more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Next time she will be here yeah, and in front of you. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people will ask me perspective. like to have her on the show. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot confront it. It's just too many things to share. <laughs> Maybe in the next 10 years or something. <laughs> That would be that would be fun with your kids also. <laughs> oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> I swear. Okay, uh, let's go on with you, Terry. Like, so besides sport, right? Besides football, what other passion that you have? Like, what is like? Do you have any other things that you want to do? Uh, other things I want to do, or like maybe in the process of doing it, or it's just like directly just. Uh, football. Me, yeah. Later, my goal after football, I think, is to be involved in football, of course. But uh, one of my goal, one of my, let's say, dream is to to help player to go play abroad, to help them, you know. So because here we don't have this yet, like some, like for example, agency or manager or agent to help. Uh, you should. Yeah. I to, think you should. That's what uh, I want to okay. do. I want to go help players, support them to hold through the whole process, so they don't feel alone, you know. So. Uh, it make help player also go smoother on the to go travel outside and don't feel alone, you know. So this is one of my goals because I believe many players from Cambodia they need helps. Yeah, they need helps in terms of uh, contract, in terms of uh, negotiating with club and stuff. Because of course in these things uh, business you can get cheated a lot, you know. So when money is involved, so I think they need support, you know. Especially for example, they don't speak that much English and they go talk to an agent from abroad. So they would might just say yes, 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 but. They don't know. Uh, mm, they sold their house. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, you know, they they might have problem, you know. Mm. So because in football as well, for, we don't mention, but you can have problem in in, in the with your club. For example, sometimes they want to get rid of you. Sometimes you don't get your money, stuff, stuff like this. So, so uh, you need support in all of that, you know. So mm. I think it's very important, and I want to be, I want to help. The, you want to be the solution for yes, that. Yes, I want. The solution and the educate them about this also. So, this uh, one of my goals. And um, yeah, and also of course be involved in the in the football in Cambodia. I want to help develop uh, Cambodian football. Yeah, and uh, be part of uh, the growing and the success of uh, Cambodia football. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, really appreciate the fact that you you're so dedicated to football. Yeah, I, I mean still like. Future plan? Football. <laughs> that's that's, yeah. that's actually my life. You know? I, I know only football. I know only football. Yeah. If I didn't have the, my career as a footballer, I might be a taxi driver or walking in a in a fast food chain. I don't know, you know. I agree, I agree. I, I believe you. Because same as me. In school, I was so bad. I was so bad in school, so I don't know where I will I will be. Hey, you, you're bad in school doesn't mean you're bad in life, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. are some people who just not perform, but then I, I'm the same, man. I'm not good in school, but I mean, I'm doing okay. But then in life, I can be by... I, th I think in life, you learn more. You learn yeah, more. yeah. Because in school, we don't teach you the things that you need to know in life, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't care about the dinosaur or like uh, something, you know. <laughs> like, <coughs> teach me about things, like how to save money or yeah. things that are going to happen in life. This we don't know, actually, in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we need to get out from school after we finish mm -hmm. and experience the real life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But please go to school. <laughs> yes, yes, stay in school. We are not. We are not recommend you to quit school. <laughs> no, actually, school. yeah, yeah. I, I wish actually. We just I, say that if you're not good in school, don't give up. No, you can do better outside. Yes, yes, uh, yes. But doesn't mean you should quit. <laughs> no, you, sh you shouldn't quit at all. Me, <laughs> I, 
I quit uh, because I I was not uh, like uh, good discipline. So oh, okay. I got fired from school. Oh, you yeah. expel, got expel. Say, Fire, expel, yeah, 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 expel. Yeah, I got yes, expelled yeah. from school. You, wait, what? You, wait, you got expelled from school? Yeah, I got expelled from school. From what did you do? <laughs> this is all your stuff, but I got expelled from school. I got expelled from my football school also. So, sir, what did you do? <laughs> oh, he never heard. He never told you about I, it. I never told, and I told you this, babes. Oh, okay. But uh, this, I, I never told to to, to anyone in public, etc. Yeah. But in France, yeah, I was like a, a rebel. You know, I was. Uh, I, I was not really 100% focused on being a professional. I was just like mm. having fun with my my players, uh, my, my teammates in the football school because we are only us, you know? So it's, I don't know how to explain, but like I just enjoy it. Mm. Because I, I, I came out of my family, I left my family very young. I, I left my family when I was like 13 years old yeah. until now. So I was out of my family and uh, you live in the, with the in the football environment yeah. with my teammates and stuff so we just want to have fun and like we're all stupid and silly you know so <laughs> we just don't want to do <laughs> not focus on school and you know yeah I mean, kids always be kids it's yeah. okay you're yeah. teenagers like that yeah so i mean if we're all grown up it's things that it's things that i, I regret as, as a in my life but it also made me like yeah become where i am and who i am right now but then if you didn't that didn't happen you would not have you know you not be here you not meet her mm -hmm. you would be yeah. somebody else i was just gonna say because i dropped out of university also in canada you did yeah and i was accepted to like a photography a, a good image art school in downtown toronto and uh actually i decided i like turned that down and i went into a it was called creative industry so it's mm. like half it's you learn about the business behind like you know film music yeah. art and then i majored in fashion and we had like our little long distance thing at the time and i just felt like cambodia was still you know in my heart and moving back to canada it was so hard to adjust and then yeah like i never finished so she i do kind of come here. yeah regret that but then like look where we are now yes yes, yes um yes. and then i continued like more schooling here for fashion Okay. Um, but obviously not the same as what I could have done in Canada. But uh, you could have maybe have a better career. In, in yeah, Canada. and like focus on art. I used to do a lot of like visual arts, painting and stuff, and photography in high school. And I kind of wish I continued with that. But um, never too late. Yeah, n I, never yeah, too late. I think so. Never, never too, late. too late. So you never know what you're gonna see. In the yeah. next that's video, good. That's good. I'm know. I'm excited. I wouldn't ask what you're gonna do. I'm excited to see. I was gonna say because you just asked him that. I'm like, don't ask me. No, I know. I know. <laughs> that's 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 a good flag. Like red flag. Said, don't ask. <laughs> Which is good. I I get what you mean. Wow. Drop off. Uh, expel. Drop off. <laughs> If we keep going, I can, there's many stuff that I can say that people never know. You know, but yeah, we just go. There definitely Give it for the next podcast. There would be a good time to do more for sure. <laughs> and and like like hearing this, it's just funny and how like people who found their their true like you know life changing experience through through that like i myself as well like i was supposed to go to journalism school after i graduate from uh, college mm. columbia university in new york it's like a big school mm. yeah i came back here i didn't go <laughs> yeah <laughs> didn't you go never back. Went back no <laughs> actually that's what happened to me i came like on holiday yeah. and then i was like i'm not going back yeah. that that's what i did i yeah. i met my wife and then just hey, what your parents mm. said they call me stupid Yeah, yeah. But it's, hello, it's, I pay yeah. for your bill now. <laughs> Sorry, it's 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 <laughs> quite been different. Yeah. But you know, I'm glad I I decided to stay. You never know. We just go. Yeah. You try. You yeah. you jump and you see. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, I think we are go, like good yeah. length. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. length. I think it's like an hour and a half. Wow. Right. Uh, uh, did not expect it. Don't worry. Your camera did not disappear. Okay. It's just the battery just out from the wireless. <laughs> Okay, uh, Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so And, much. And uh, I'll drive my, I, I'll do my best to subtitle it <laughs> because mm. it's gonna be long. Oh. It's gonna yeah. be hard. But okay, let, let's release it first and subtitling will edit through time because I can edit later. Okay. But uh, the English definitely has subtitle for sure because I have an automation system that can do that. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you yeah, how to do oh, it. Oh, please, yeah. because sometimes I need that. Yeah, yeah, I can show you. It's just Perfect. one click of the button. 
โอเคแต่ตงอคนี้ให้ปู่ยืนตังใบสมัชชาสรายบิสันจีเบียงกะไลงขวาคาดหรือก็ปะปัวหรือก็ถั่วอันนามในอัศบายจัดจมูกนพ